spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. <laughs> Black pudding, he was any hangover. How much for a herring? Crown a piece. Huh? I'll wait for it to drop. The devil walked a crooked path, his heart a full of ire. No soul would lend him coin for drink, no wench would quench his fire. Plow it. Plow Need to it. chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. Well, I didn't think you'd have a stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise. Heads rolling across the floor. I don't know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss orders aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. The old was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions, without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Post and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horse earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise, the animosity you feel for him. That was but a start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. 
the anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a broad, then had another tanker. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. This dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. I'm afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me, 
That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Kendrick, you there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little why don't I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. He's sprawling this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Grave here. Woods rotted completely. Beehives, well maintained but dormant. Ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. the lamp and the grounds trampled so 
Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I'd scooch along, Kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals? You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key, it opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. A hairbrush. Floral ornamentation. Pretty. Thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off. Don't know this deity. Strange. Hulkir doesn't seem the pious type. Caretaker. Seeds and bulbs. Someone's still planting flowers. My house. Thank you. 
was that? Served. Caretaker must still set the table. are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Uh, and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? <gasps> Surprised? No. Not at all. Her 
how did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Ghosts, restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> 